Welcome to episode 88, Karl Albrecht, the richest German self-made billionaire and the supermarket king of the world. This is an outline of episode 88. There are three reasons why we study Karl Albrecht. First, he, when he died in 2014 at the age of 94, he was the richest German self-made billionaire. Second, Karl Albrecht was, was the grocery king of the world. Third, he co-founded Audi and owns Trader Joe. Karl Albrecht was born in 1920 in Essen, Germany to a Catholic family. His mother opened a grocery store in 1913. Die Geschichte beginnt 1913 in Essen. Dort verkauft die Familie Albrecht in einem kleinen Laden die wichtigsten Grundnahrungsmittel. This is a picture of the inside of his mother's grocery store. This is what the store looks like today. This is a picture of the Albrecht family. The two brothers Karl Brecht is in the back. Der ältere Karl im Hintergrund ist dynamisch, ungeduldig, impulsiv. Sie erscheinen wie eine übermächtige Konkurrenz für die Albrechts, die von ihrer Mutter zum Eintreiben von Schulden losgeschickt werden. Lass dich nicht abwimmeln. Du gehst zu Frau Lehmann, Herrn Bauer und Herrn Kraupel und nicht ohne Geld kommen, alles klar? Los. Beide machen ihre Ausbildung im Einzelhandel während des Dritten Reiches. Als der Krieg kommt, werden beide eingezogen. Karl fought on the West Front in Russia and was seriously injured. His brother Theo fought for Rommel, the Desert Fox in Africa, and was captured by the Americans after the war. After World War II, Karl and Theo Elbrecht came back to Germany. They found the mother's grocery store intact from the bombing. They took over the family business. Founded Albrecht KG in 1948, opening four stores in the local area not long after. Essen. Eine Ruhrpott-Metropole. Hier irgendwo leben sie. Very little is known about Karl Elbrecht. He co-founded Audi with his brother Theo in 1954. In 1971, his brother Theo Elbrecht was kidnapped. Tritt einer der Brüder vor die Kamera. 1971. Theo Albrecht wurde Opfer eines Verbrechens. Although Theo Albrecht remained unharmed after paying two million dollar ransom, the Albrecht would not allow any pictures taken of them since. Nur wenige Fotografien der beiden Brüder existieren. Was ist ihr Geheimnis? Warum verstecken sie sich? As money conscious as ever, he tries to claim the ransom as a tax deductible expense, possibly as a consequence of the kidnap. The Albrechts had become extremely secretive about their private lives and Forbes dubbed Theo more reclusive than the Yeti. The last photo published of limelight shining Theo Albrecht alone dates way back in 1971, a day after he was released by his kidnappers. And the, the Albrecht brothers ran LD with the motto, the best quality at the lowest price. The name LD consists of two parts, AL is the short form of Albrecht. DI is the short form of discount, which is discount in German. The family as a whole were noted for their thrifty ways, obsessed with saving money. Theo was said to recycle used pencil stubs, wear old, worn suits, and renounce any form of luxury even after he had made his fortune. Thrifty conscious brothers devised a simple yet super successful business plan. They kept prices rock bottom by only stocking non-perishable items, quickly removing slow sellers from the shelves. To avoid uh, then something bizarre happened. The two brothers disputed over the sale of cigarettes. Audi was split into Audi North and Audi 
South. They had a massive disagreement though the same year. The brothers split the chain into two separate groups after falling out on whether they should sell cigarettes. Theo headed Albrecht Dishkon Nord, which sold cigarettes in the north of Germany, while Karl became the CEO of Albrecht Dishkon Sud, or the South, which did not. In 1962, the brothers, who were still working together despite their disagreement, the two businesses became financially free, legally separated, in 1966. Then came the overseas expansions. In 1967, when Aldi Sud took over Hoffer, an Austrian grocery chain, Aldi Nord joined when it expanded into Belgium in 1973. The first Aldi opened in Iowa, United States in 1976. Aldi operates over 10,000 stores in 18 countries worldwide, with a staggering turnover of £40 billion. Pounds. Shoppers also need a quarter to rent a car, making them accountable for not stranding them in the parking lot. They use their cart. In order to get their quarter back, it's necessary for them to bring that cart back up to the front of the store and put it back in its proper place. The bags are a dime, and the paper bags are a nickel. We don't believe that it is right to go ahead and uh, offer those things free, but then uh, ultimately charge the customer by hiding that cost or expense throughout the store in the way of higher prices. It's the small things that add up to big savings. And even if Aldi's is operating in 26 states, from Kansas to the east, there are a couple of things that they've had to cut corners on. Even made by the same suppliers and in the same factories as name brand items. Oftentimes you're getting exactly the same thing that might be under a name brand that everyone's familiar with. You're not paying for those extra inflated costs since it arrived in the Midlands in 1990, this German discounter has opened more than 600 shops, employs 28,000 people, and plans to almost double its stores in the next five years. So how have they done it? In 2006, Audi famously beat Walmart in Germany. Walmart retreated. This is the picture of Walmart ASDA store in Germany. This is the map of Audi worldwide operation in 2017 in 18 countries. In July 2014, Karl Albrecht died at the age of 94. When Karl Albrecht died in 2014, he was the richest man in Germany with a personal wealth of 13.9 billion pounds. Audi now. What have I learned today? Grocery is one of the most competitive business. Audi won by no advertisement, no thrill, customer self-service, fewer selection, own brand name instead of brand name items, quality consciousness, smaller store, etc., which translates to 20% cheaper than its competitors. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your comments and questions below. My next video will be 10 Lessons of Carl Elbrecht and Audi. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.